We're going to start this episode off by dumping off 126 prisoners for 19k. So Kara owns Ephinus Castle. Delon and Waveshore are really close. And if I give those to her, she'll be able to field a larger army because she'll be getting more income. I gave Delon to Kara and Thailand does not object, which is good. And I gave her Waveshore, but Thailand did object to that. We lost one relation with them only though. Four Iron has the prison tower built. And so I will store Chingish, Sung Wo, and Lady Sven there. A university increases renown and town relation every week. Let's build that. It's going to cost 6,500 and it's going to take four. 14 days. Helen Tor declared war against us. This is not good. I don't know how strong they are, but they're going to be attacking us very soon. We gained 71k this week. 38k went to Four Iron's treasury, and Quiltaka is finally giving us 9k. So the elves are still pretty strong. They have Elsnor, Vinica, and they have a couple castles over here. We could try to take Anthus Castle, but they're probably going to attack soon. So I think we should probably just wait for them to attack and see what they do. We'll take money out of Four Iron's treasury. We'll leave them with 8k. We also have items to sell from last episode for 13k. Since we're at 220k, we may consider changing our kingdom's culture so that we can hire some decent units. The Arulo culture is only 80k, and if we change that, we could recruit leaf bombers from their villages, which could be pretty helpful in a siege defense. Although maybe we should just change it to the Elentorn culture because they have really strong archers. That would take all of our money though. I think we will do the Arulo for now, and hopefully before the elves attack us, we can recruit some of their units and turn them into leaf bomb throwers, and that might help a lot on defense. All right, we're gonna dump off all the mercenary red guards at four iron. And we're going to start hiring units like crazy. At Tempe, let's build a school. We get four Arulo Unproven's from them. Ooh, there's a lord over there. He's got 12 Elentorn Elites, 6 Knights, 10 Sunrise Riders. Oh my god, this is going to be bloody, dude. Are they really attacking us? Wait, what are they doing? They were running from us, but they ran right through us and Sid Heathon's Mercenary Company. Well, that wasn't nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be. I didn't lose a single unit. The Geller lost 16, but 11 of them were farmers and peasant women. So no real losses there. The elves just suicided with their elites right away. So those weren't too bad. And then the Sunrise Riders and the Knights ran into the wall. And we can capture Archduke Valthayuyanon. He has a lot of renown, but he's self-righteous, which I don't believe is a good trait. So I believe we'll capture him. We have bad relation with this village, but we can do a quest for them. They need four packs of grain. Just by accepting the quest, we got five relation with them. And now we can recruit from their village. Three Arulo. And I went back to Four Iron just so I can dump off this Elven Lord. This Elentorn Elite unit has 420 prisoners. I think they're all Elentorn Elites. And that means they're all pretty good mounted cavalry. We actually lost four of them. They were pretty strong. And the Geldar lost 16. We got some units, but nothing too great. We just got 216 prisoners from that. We're going to dump off these 216 prisoners for 37k. And at Four Iron, we're going to pay for a recruiter to get us Arulo units. Let's just get a full army of Arulo units and see what happens. And that sends out these recruiters. Now, I don't know exactly how they're going to find the units. And I believe they can be attacked. So, Godspeed to them. We are much quicker than this guy. We lost nothing. And he got away. This mercenary company now has 309 prisoners. They're so slow. At Fortnite, and they have grain that we can buy for the farmer quest. I've brought you four packs of grain. And we got relation with them and some XP and honor. So, now we're at six relation with them. Now, this guy wants some cattle. I will do the quest. And we'll try to find some cattle for that guy. In the meantime, we will go over to this battle that's happening... The Archduke has 109 prisoners. A lot of them are Geldar prisoners as well. When the Geldar got wiped out, our relation with them went down to zero. But if I had good relation with the Geldar still, those Geldar prisoners he has would want to join me more. We have 331 against 35. Let's just auto calc it. We lost five units. We were able to capture Archduke. He has 1380 renown and he's upstanding. So we're going to let him go. That gave us five relation with him and some honor. And Duke he has 679 right now which isn't a whole lot but he is upstanding and we already have 19 relationship with him so we'll let him go and we did pick up some geldar units we got a lot of prisoners 94 prisoners total in the meantime i think we'll try to siege ianthus castle they have 106 prisoners and only 220 units and it's going to take 54 hours i believe our engineer is wounded and he is wounded but he has two attribute points and we can get him up to 10 engineer which will bring our party to 11 engineer total he has 20 extra skill points and we have nothing else we really need at the moment so we're going to just going to give him 10 in trainer. He is only level 17, so he can only train up lower tier units, but it will still help out. There's nothing else we can really do with them anyways. Antiope has a level up. She can have nine power draw now. We're going to head back to Fort Iron and dump off these prisoners. 94 of them for 18k. And now Agnar Stormcloak has 11 engineer because we give him a plus one bonus. And it only takes 24 hours to build the siege tower, so we'll do that. Lil has been besieged by Lord Quinn Min of Xan. I think we're going to finish the siege first though. It was pretty close to being done. Alright, they have 200 units, but they are are elves so they might be doing a lot of damage we got a bunch of archers down here holy crap this is brutal get them boys 
All right, we gained 25 renown for that. Thankfully, due to our surgery skill, we didn't lose all that many. We only lost 11, but at the end there, that was pretty bloody. Our mercenary company lost 50, but we did get some of our units back and we got a bunch of prisoners as well, 64 of them. And we got some pretty nice Ellen Torn armor and I got a level up. Let's go to 36 strength and I'll go one more power throw. And it looks like these elites are chasing my mercenary company. Wait, Fort Iron's being besieged by Princess Lethandril and Leal is being besieged as well. I've totally forgot about that. First of all, we'll help out City Thon's mercenary company. The trick with these guys is we got to get our cavalry to the front really fast and dismount them all and then just run our units back and their elites will run right into our horses and they get stuck on the horses and then we just throw grenades at them we only lost three units that time and the gilder lost five but we took out 55 elites oh god their whole army's here oh no we got to help city thon's mercenary company kill this guy really fast we have a pretty good sized garrison at four and iron we do have a blacksmith forge oh my horse is lame We fix that. We gotta kill each other. We took that guy out. We lost seven and he got away. And somebody picked up a nice helmet. We can recruit an Arolo strong one here. I don't know what that is, but let's try it out. Let's take some of their garrison. They have seven master hurlers, 13 hurlers, and four proven hurlers. And we'll take some more of their low tier units and try to upgrade them. This guy's going to attack City Thon. Let's let him attack and then let's help him out. This guy's actually pretty strong and he's kind of destroying us because we have a lot of hurlers on the field and they are not so good against archers. We lost 18 units, three master hurlers. Ouch. We could have really used those in a defense, but we did take out 85 elves and we can capture Archduke Lagerthin. He's got a lot of renown and he's sadistic. We'll capture him. Our right, Citython's getting ambushed by like four elven lords. I think we just let him get taken out. This is, we just gotta defend four and iron. Hopefully we can get in. Oh god, this guy's chasing us. He's really fast. He's just as fast as us. This guy has 60 Elentorn units and they're all horse archers. Oh god, that's why he's so fast. And we got a lot of units wounded. We're down to 159. We gotta try to outrun this guy. Oh god. He, okay, yes, he backed off. Phew. We gotta make it into four and iron. It'd be awesome if we could make it in. Oh god, this guy's gonna chase us. We'll sell Lord Chingis to the Xan. That's fine. We gotta dump off these prisoners at Ianthus Castle. Should we take some of these Arulo Bowmasters? I think they're pretty bad. And the Bowmen. I can kind of regret going for the Arulo culture. Their Bowmasters cap out at 24 weekly wage. They do have 400 archery and 7 power draw. But their bows are a 2 power draw bow. <laughs> They're so bad. They're so bad, they don't even have helmets. I'm pretty sure that's their highest tier archer. We are faster than this guy now. We have 7.5. We can skirt by this guy and hopefully get into 4 iron. We could just wait for them to attack it, but when they do start attacking it, we're going to lose the units right away if we're not there. I think we can skirt in really fast. Yep. Oh, we barely got in. We could hire a small Perisnoan army for 30k. I think that spawns like 400 units to fight the elves, but I don't think it'd do much. We might as well just do it. We could hire Xan mercenaries, but we can't put them in the castle. So I think it's useless. Oh god, they're attacking. Wait, are they? Oh no, they're attacking my um, army. Lady Kara's here. We could send her into Fornirn. This could be good timing. Go to Fornirn. Oh, she made it in. Perfect. We got more units now. The Prisno army has 366 units. I'm hoping it's just going to take out some of the elves. Queen Arwen has 263 units in her party, though. Princess Lethandril has 192. Oh, God. <laughs> We're so screwed. <laughs> oh, no. This is a disaster. Oh, God. 580 against 1,593 elves, dude. <laughs> I think this is it. Honestly, if I get captured here, I think we're done, boys. Let's try to negotiate with them. Princess Lethandro approaches you. He demands four and iron in all associated villages as well as 28.7k orms for safe conduct. First of all, Princess Lethandro is a he? What? I mean, she doesn't look like a he, so screw it. We're not going to pay 28k. We're fighting these filthy tree rats. Oh, God. Oh, God. Two already dead. I don't know how to fight this. We got to bring everyone down, I think. And as they come in, we got to grenade them. I think that's the only way. We retreated down below the stairs, and we're now getting a lot more kills, though. And they're not killing us as much. Our archers are all spread out down here. And whenever they come in, they're just getting pelted by arrows. I tried this strategy in Pandora before, but it bugged out. My units just didn't do anything, but it looks like in Prisno, this is a more viable strategy. My leaf bombs are replenished. 
I'm at 52 again. So the blacksmith does work for leaf bombs as well. We're just completely shredding them. Like, I think we can win this. They're not killing any of us. Like, as they come up, they're just getting completely destroyed. Since the last update, we have not lost a single unit. And we've killed 550. I have my auto clicker set up to throw bombs right at this choke point. I think I can literally go AFK. I don't even need to be here. We lost four units and the garrison lost eight. And that was like right at the start of the siege when we were just getting pounded by arrows. But when we went down into the streets and gave up the high ground, we literally didn't lose a single unit after that. We took out one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen elven lords and Queen Arwen. Hopefully we capture her. We can capture Duke Narglad, but we have 21 relation with him, and he is good natured, so I think we'll let him go. We gain five relation with him for doing that. Princess Lethandril got away. That's unfortunate because we do want relation with her, because we want to marry her. Queen Arwen, we can capture her. We have 10 relation with her, but we're gonna take her prisoner. And look at all these rescued prisoners. Six 16 Geldar Woodland Archers. We got 155 prisoners as well. The Arulo Strong one we hired earlier has no chest piece. And that guy costs 600. I'm just gonna leave him. Reinforced Prisno Champion Armor for 100k. Balanced Ancient Golden Warblade. The escort of Princess Lothandril is just sitting there in horror as 1600 elves just got massacred. Alright guys, I'm gonna end the episode right here. In the next episode, we're really gonna pick up the pace and we're gonna start dumpstering the elves. I've got five days to try to finish this series. Let's see. See if we can do it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.